So Carmen, Crystal Cruises just hit it out of the park recently on your 25th anniversary yes. with your blockbuster announcement of all of the new things coming down the pipeline. But uh, so many different products. Mm -hmm. Are you changing your demographic or your target market? That's an excellent question. And I appreciate the fact that we just celebrated 25 years, so that's great brand equity. But I don't want anybody to lose focus on what got us the success that we've enjoyed, which is really our current fleet and our beautiful ship. So the Crystal you know, Symphony and the Serenity are what have gotten us to this place. And we've been able to win World's Best Cruise Ship and Condé Nast Traveler's Reader's Choice Awards for 21 years. And we just, just accepted Edie Rodriguez, our President and CEO, the World's Best Large Cruise Ship Line Awards as voted in by travel and leisure readers, and that's 20 consecutive years running. My goodness, that's that is hard something to, do. to be proud of. 25 <laughs> years, the tonnage, the two beautiful ships, so that's not with new no, enhancements, indeed. that's with our current fleet, and that's what our guests love. Now the reality is with the new future growth and expansion plans, we will look at additional prospects, because it will not be the right. traditional ocean-going ships that we currently have in our fleet. So what is the, the value proposition for Crystal, right right now, with your existing product? Well, we talk about the value proposition of luxury and what the affluent customer wants, and it's about experiences. So ironically, I got an email today about a, a lovely young lady, she just got back from her honeymoon, and it was, I think to me, the important part was not only has she just returned from her honeymoon and she's 32 years old, but she's been sailing with us, with her parents and grandparents since she was seven years old. Oh my. I mean, that says a lot to the brand, to the multi-generational. One of the things I've learned is that I think folks recognize or understand there's two different things. There's a price to get on a ship, and then there's the price to get off. Because we're all inclusive, really we are a value proposition and you can just compare it. It's absolutely a different uh, ball game and it's a game changer. I also look at the fact that we have kids free, 17 and under. Amazing. Most yeah. Most uh, of our travel partners that I'm visiting with do not realize we have kids free. We have solo rates. So how would you position Crystal if you were a travel agent considering offering your product to a new client, someone who hasn't had the experience? So I always say travel agents should sell not from their pocketbook or their experiences, <laughs> but really qualify the client. And, and you'd be surprised. Some of these experiences, whether it's a honeymoon, whether it's an anniversary cruise, look at the price point, compare to other brand experiences. I don't necessarily want uh, repeat cruisers as much as first time. I think a first time cruiser to to, to us at Crystal is really where our future lies. We really value our Crystal Society members. They get it. It's when I get a guest on board and they understand what this magic is of this luxury brand, then they become an annuity. With the breadth of clientele that you have, Carmen, it, it doesn't seem that Crystal is sort of that stuffy, upper class luxury experience at all. And you know what? from your look, that's true. That would be the perception, right? Yeah. So it's that pre preconceived notion that you think luxury or fluency is stuffy, and it's not. So oh. we're very cr crystal casual on board, and we don't have formal nights. It's really black tie optional. We've changed because we're changing as our guests are asking for different varieties of product experiences, so the deliverable will change. I think that's important. Mm -hmm. You need to stay constant with the time. So I love that we've celebrated 25 years, and I, I definitely, we admire all that we've accomplished, but it's about the future and the new chapter we're writing with the new crystal, and I'll tell you, exciting times ahead. You're not standing still, it's, it's incredible. And tell us a little bit about some of the exciting itineraries that are coming up and, and, and in the near future as well, well. Well, for the two beautiful ships we have, most folks don't realize we're open through 2018. So if you think of 2018, we already have, both ships are doing two world cruises. So you've got the ability to book farther out. We recognize guests want to have those options. So not only are we open 16, 17, but through 18. So I think that's offering choices to our mm -hmm. guests to really plan ahead, which is very important. Now with our growth strategy, we can talk about growth coming on this year. So yeah. It, well, that's right. The yachts are, are on, sale, on sale right now, right? right? So the yacht. So if anybody didn't see the announcements, we celebrated our 25th anniversary uh, just recently, and we made some pretty fantastic announcements. So we were sold on May 15th. NYK, who was our owner for 25 years, just phenomenal brand experience that they delivered. Uh, and we were sold, and as a result, we've got a lot of exciting expansion plans. Uh, the first of the additional, and I like to call it additional 
cruise experiences is our yacht. So mm -hmm. Crystal Esprit will be our yacht and she will be out this year, as in December 23rd, will be the inaugural voyage. That's pretty fast. That's very fast. Pretty fast, it's 62 guests. Yachting isn't cruising, so it's a different experience. And I think you mentioned first, how do we get new prospects or new guests? And this is a perfect experience because it'll still be the crystal luxury experience, all butlers, mm -hmm. all inclusive, but now it's 62 guests, much more intimate experience, and we're delivering that now. We're gonna follow suit in 2017 with some river cruises, so river is very popular. Yeah. So we're excited about that. We'll have our own crystal luxury air brand, so I think it's not only by sea, but by air. That's fascinating. And really. to me, the most exciting. Yeah, so different. They've been waiting for is Curious. the announcement of our three beautiful crystal exclusive class ocean liners. And that'll be a mm -hmm. thousand guests each, 100,000 tons. It's a ratio of one to one. And it is going to bring us to a category in luxury that has never been seen in travel. You provide the full bucket list for cruising now. Absolutely. They you get their list in order. So now <laughs> our agent partners, if you want to sell a luxury brand, you sell Crystal because you can get them on river, you can get them on yachts, they can do the beautiful Crystal cruise experience on Symphony and Serenity, or they can even do Crystal Air. It's a great planning experience, isn't it? It's a great conversation. Absolutely, absolutely. And we're so excited. And we, uh, I kind of want to say somebody pinched me because I can't believe yeah. we're here. Uh, but we're such a brand that has such equity. And to win these awards year after year, it says something to the product deliverable. Well, congratulations, Carmen. Thank you. And we look forward to keeping up with all of your thank news you. as all of this wonderful new thank product you. comes And along. thank, of course, all our travel partners for their support. We couldn't get here without you. 96% of our business comes through the travel agent distribution system, and we appreciate that business. And we don't take it for granted. Well done. Thank you. Thank you.